What's going on, gang? Me, Barack, and Donald are going to rank some chips on our tier list. Let it be known Donald is probably the most qualified for this. Why, thank you, Barack. I appreciate the fact that you know about my superior taste buds. I think he just meant you're the most qualified because you look like you eat the most chips out of all of us. You calling me a fat ass, you sleepy motherfucker? Uh, let's get this list started with Cheetos. How are we feeling on that, fellas? Solid starter chips. I like them, but I've never heard someone say, yo, get me some regular Cheetos. Barack is right. Ain't no way a sane person would go and say, please give me some regular Cheetos. Like, if they're there, then I'd eat them, and they're not bad either. They're okay. Safe choices belong in C, and next up we have Funyuns, and I personally am an onion man, so I like them a lot. No wonder your breath fucking reeks, Joe, but they are pretty nice chips, but not the best. Yeah, they're slightly better than Cheetos, so I'd say B tier is solid. All right, sounds great. Next up is Lay's Salt and Vinegar, and I'm a huge fan of these. Ain't no way you're a fan of these, Joey. If you took one bite out of these, you'd crumble to dust. I swear I love these. Yeah, they're okay, but let's not overrate them, Joe. It is just salt and vinegar. And what more could you want from salt and vinegar? Say the end of vinegar, Joe. Why? Don't fall for that, Joe, but I know you love these chips, but I'd say me and Donnie would put them at B tier, right? Yeah, they're good, but not that good. Fine, I'll move them to B tier, but you guys better put these next chips high because I love spicy sweet chili Doritos. I gotta admit it, Joe. These are underrated, to be honest. As a man with great taste buds, I like the little tang these chips have, but they're not the best Doritos. Oh, I agree, but I'm thinking A tier is good for these. And the spicy nacho Doritos up next, I'm giving a B tier while I'm ranking the Doritos. Yeah, they're not as good as the originals, in my opinion. Agreed. Next, I'm putting Pringles Original at B tier because they're solid as well. Can't go wrong with Lay's or Pringles Originals. Good take, Joe. Not everything needs to be fancy. I just hope you guys don't get too upset at my next take because I have barbecue Lay's at B tier as well. No fucking way you have these the same rank as original Pringles. Like, I know I just praised them, but what the fuck, Joe? Nah, he's spitting right now. Lay's barbecue chips are weaker compared to other barbecue chips. Like any kettle cooked, one blows it out of the water. On God, Barack, and with that, I'm putting Ruffles original at D tier because the ridges hurt my mouth. Yeah, you ever bite one the wrong way, and next thing you know, the roof of your mouth is bleeding? Too many times, Donald. And next, I have Cool Ranch Doritos at B tier because they're solid but are outclassed by the other flavors. Agreed. And with that, our first S tier is coming up, and I'm proud to say that it is sour cream and onion. I have to agree with that. Alone cheddar and sour cream are good. But combined, they are elite. Those make me want to come with how good they are. Have you guys tried the LeBron chips? The chip is good as fuck, Donnie. We gonna ignore what he first said? Okay, fine. Ooh, one of my personal favorites is coming up, and those are original Sun Chips. I want to put those at B tier. Fuck no, you aren't. They are going to D tier. Who the fuck says they like original Sun Chips? Yeah, Joey put that shit in D tier. Fine, we can put it in D tier, but Cheddar Sun Chips have to go in B. That's fine, Joey. Those aren't bad. Now, here's a sleeper chip, and that's the Chili Fritos, which I'm putting in A tier. That's an actually good sleeper, Joe. Waking up for that, take Mr. Sleepy. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys like Classic Lay's at A tier as well, since it's a classic, as the name implies. Can't go wrong with that. The next two I have at S tier, and that is both the Nacho Cheese and Flaming Hot Limon Doritos. The Nacho Cheese is a classic and deserves its spot, and the Flaming Hot one is just so fucking good. I see too many illegals enjoying the Limon-flavored things, Joe. I don't know about that one. No, Trump. Trust me that Joe is spitting right now. Then I have Sour Cream and A. Another banger. Thanks, Barack. Next, I have Fritos at D tier. I wouldn't even feed this shit to my dog. On God, that shit is gross as fuck. We need to deport all those fucking chips. Next, I have Cheeto Puffs at B tier because I like grabbing a bunch of them and chew them till I have a huge glob of cheese in my mouth. What in the ever-living fuck, Joe? They're good, but who the fuck does that? I like having the big glob and then swallowing it. So, uh, where are you ranking Cheddar Pringles? They're pretty good, and generally I'm a fan of Pringles, so I'm putting them at A tier. I can get behind that, but the sour cream and cheddar would be higher, correct? Yes, and up next we got these god-awful Frito scoops. Another D tier, honestly? Who the hell eats these? I would rather be a blood-sucking vampire in San Francisco than ever eat those chips. Next, I'm putting sour cream lays at B tier. Whoops, accidentally moved original Sun Chips to B. This fucker did that on purpose. Joe Buddy, move that back to where it belongs. Wow, guys, so next I have hot Cheetos at S tier. We all know it would be there, Joe. Now fucking move the Sun Chips. Joey buddy, please. And lastly, I got hot Cheeto puffs at B tier. Joe! Fine, guys, I'll do what everyone wants, what everyone is thinking. I make my lists with honor and integrity, and I plan to take your guys' opinion on this, and I won't just ignore it. 
I am a man who carries himself highly and will never make people upset. I will make a move. Thank Christ. Thank you. I will move Lay Sour Cream to A tier. Motherfucker. Hello, everyone. It's me, the master grinder, the Don himself. I am here to rank ramen flavors since Joe and Barack were really excited to do this one. I just suggested I do the list due to my superior taste buds. Donald, I'm honestly surprised you wanted to do this one, especially since Joe is a big fan of ramen. I sure do love noodles. They're just so easy to make and are a great snack. Joe did the last list, and I'm not fucking letting him do another, but let's start this list off with roast chicken ramen. Who the fuck has ever had this one? Ooh, I have Donnie. I really like the flavor, but I prefer the original chicken. See, Donald, maybe Joe should do the list instead. He is not doing the goddamn list. It is my turn, and I said I was going to do ramen. I'm putting it in C tier. Next, I have the chicken flavor at A tier, man. This was a real lifesaver when all I had to live off of was the small loan my father gave me back when I was a youngin. Wasn't that loan like a million dollars? Listen, Joey, a small loan is a small loan. A man like you wouldn't understand the hardship I had to go through. I remember once I had to dip into my savings to fully buy one of my many apartment complexes in full. Real big struggle there, Donnie. Did you also use part of that loan for Stormy Daniels? Uh, next we have beef flavor at D tier. It literally tastes like someone put dog food into my noodles, cooked it with Dr. Pepper, made the noodles out of clay, and then proceeded to run them through feces before serving it to me. Donald, don't say that. What if people genuinely like that flavor? I'll believe that people really like this flavor once Lizzo stops lying to everyone about being vegan because ain't no way that is possible. Moving on, we got the picante chicken and this nice bit of spice makes it better than the normal chicken flavor and moves it up to S tier. Amazing take here, Donnie. I'm genuinely surprised you like the spiciness it adds, but that flavor really does one up the OG chicken. I know I'm amazing, what can I say? I know they say God sculpts everyone in his own image, but he must have been in his bag when making me. Anyways, next up, we also have shrimp in S tier because that is the staple ramen flavor I always used to get. Surviving in the slums of the Jamaica estates, I remember opening up this for a nice snack. Isn't that place like a pretty good neighborhood? Joe, you know nothing of my struggles. No, uh, I just pulled it up. This place looks pretty nice to live in. The place was infested with illegals, Joe. Sure, most of them were gardeners, construction workers, maintenance guys, and restaurant workers, but I felt danger around every corner. Wow, Donald, you know they were probably really good, hardworking people. Good people can do bad things, Barack. Remember, the McChicken used to be only a dollar, but now they are damn near three dollars. I remember thinking back then McDonald's were the good guys, but then they blindsided their number one consumer, which is me. I've been filled with nothing but vitriol and hate for the franchise ever since. Sure, I still buy their stuff like every other day, but I'll never forget that my precious McChicken is no longer a dollar. But moving past all that, who the hell has ever had creamy chicken ramen? I've never even heard of that before this list. Who is making these flavors? This seems like a Joe type of flavor, something senile people would enjoy. I have never had it before, Donnie, but it sounds delicious. I feel like I would have remembered a creamy chicken ramen if I ever had it. Let's be honest, Joe, you most definitely wouldn't have remembered. Up next, we have the Oriental flavor. I once again have never had this. The only type of Oriental I like are the people and their massages, if you get what I mean. I don't get what you mean. What's cool about a massage? Just forget it, Joe. You wouldn't get it. Be glad you don't get it, Joey. That's how Donald is getting in trouble for the stormy thing. Can we give up that bit already? This next flavor must have been in Mexico only or something, because I've never seen the chili flavor. I've had it before. See, Donald, this is why I should have made the list. I think that's a decent flavor. Joe, you did the last one. I am doing this one, and I have never had it. Your opinion is invalid since I already gave you one. So why even do this tier list, Donald, plus Joey listened to you on his other lists? He doesn't get shit after that Sun Chips fiasco. And next we have the roast beef flavor, which is at D tier because that is garbage. Probably tastes like Joe's wife. Probably tastes more like Stormy, you orange fuck. Joe, did I not just say to drop that? Let's proceed with the list. This next item is peak and tay beef, and this is a D tier. It also tastes bad. It's like someone added hot sauce to boiled hot dog water to add to my ramen that was already made out of raw sewage. You know what? I've never heard someone describe it like Donnie. I know, I know, I'm a genius, a wordsmith, a poet, practically a full-fledged writer. I mean, I do have a book, and up next I have chicken mushroom ramen at B tier. It's good, but I tend to prefer the original chicken more. Same can be said about the lime shrimp, just because I tend to like the originals more than the variants. 
However, the lime chili shrimp is slightly better, so I have that A tier accompanying the chicken flavor. Whoa, don't you think you're going a little too fast, Donald? You got to really soak in the flavors and describe them. Joe, for the last goddamn time, this is my list, and I refuse to hear anything about it. All my decisions are final, and this is the absolute correct list. Some say this is the best list. All right, Donnie, time for the most important one. Where do you place the pork-flavored ramen? I place it at D tier for do not eat as it is haram, inshallah, my brothers, and mashallah to all living life. Wait, what the fuck? What is going on, gang? Your presidential boys are back at it again with the tier lists. This time we're doing cereals. Boy, howdy, am I excited. Knowing you, Joe, you're going to put some shit like Special K at S tier. Wait, hold on, guys. Where's the music? Our fucking editor is being lazy again. Frail, you fuck, come and put on the music. I was literally about at it. Don't let him bully you like that, Frail. He's just upset that he's going to go to jail soon. Whoa, well, way too soon for that, Joe. And what was even funny about that? This is Donald's life we're talking about. Yeah, you dick. Ah, uh, hamburgers. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, whatever. Let's get this list started. We have our first entry, which is the Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, which I'm a be honest, fellas. It's okay. Yeah, they're not as good as the OG Cheerios, to be honest. Yeah, like if I want something healthy and tasty, I'll get the normal Cheerios. But what's the point of the Apple Cinnamon? I'd rather just get Apple Jacks at that point. On God Donald, same can't be said for Cookie Crisps, though. It's a solid A tier, just because there are better chocolate cereals, in my opinion. Guys, I don't know that cereal has too much sugar. Oh my God, here comes this pussy with his. Oh, my tummy hurts. Man, grow the fuck up, Joe. Guys, it's not me. I swear I love sugary cereal, but when I have too much, I get an upset tummy and then I have diarrhea. Joey, that is way too much info, but you also know what that sounds like to me? What's it sound like, Barack? Like a personal problem. Got his ass, Barack. Anyways, we got Special K at C tier because I genuinely can't imagine anyone under 300 pounds saying, oh man, I can't wait for this Special K. I don't think it's that bad if it has berries and stuff. Oh my fucking God, Joe, that shit is garbage. You're lucky it's even at C tier. I think I would rather drag my balls through miles of broken glass only to have them doused in lemon juice as I get mauled by a bear than have Special K willingly. Well, frankly, I think that's a bit excessive. Now, I'm kind of with him on that one. Anyways, we got kicks at C tier as well, like they're decent as a snack. But I swear I've seen more people eat kicks as a snack with no milk than I have people actually eating it as cereal. After that, though, we have another A tier, and that is Apple Jacks. Ooh, I love me some Apple Jacks. Remember the commercials they had with that skinny piece of cinnamon? I just know that Mofo chases after big girls only. Probably wants his face smushed by Lizzo. I want my face smushed by Jenna Ortega. Gross, Joe, what the hell? I was just saying she's hot. Joe, she is only 20-something. She is basically a child, what the hell? We have to hurry before Joe inevitably says something weird again. Sorry, guys, I may or may not be off to perks. Jeff, feel me, man. Do you hear what he is saying? Donald, let's just continue and maybe he will stop. I got cornflakes at D because once again, ain't no motherfucker say, damn, I'm craving some cornflakes. That's like hearing someone say, damn, I wish there was an all you can eat buffet for just grits. My brother from another mother, you know what's cooking B, dog? Don't do that, Donnie. Up next, I got Count Chocula at B because it's a decent chocolate cereal and then Captain Crunch at C tier. There's a reason why you don't see Captain Crunch that much anymore, but it used to be banging back then. I swear they must have changed the formula or something. I remember munching on those more than I ever munched on my wife. Joe, what the hell, man? Nobody wants to know this. Joey, now you're kind of scaring us. Ooh, guys, look, it's Rice Checks up next. I freaking love Rice Checks. I think we should put that at S tier. Joe, you know, we're not doing that. Were you trying to act cool and say funny things so we'd put this up higher? That is totally what that fucker was doing. Guys, please, I just think Rice Checks is underrated. Please put it high. It's going in D tier, and there's nothing you can do about it, Joe. Up next, we got Captain Crunch peanut butter, and I'm going to be honest that, and honey bunches of oats are solid. Both are kind of slightly better than mid, in my opinion. I don't know about the honey bunches, man, but I guess out of all those types of cereals, that is the best one. On Gang Barack, when I get that big cluster in my mouth and bite into it, it just bursts in my mouth. Makes me so happy to have it inside me. Uh, yeah, I like the oat cluster, too. I got Rice Krispies at D tier because they're pretty bad as a cereal, and next I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch as our first S tier. Oh, hell yeah, I'll fucking twerk for some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. On God, Donald will be on all fours throwing it back. What the hell do you two mean by that? Like it's so appetizing that I am willing to twerk for that cereal. It is a very twerkable cereal. Uh, sure, well, up next we got one that I think Joe will appreciate, and I'm placing Mini Wheats at A tier. It is good as hell. Mini Wheats? 
Yay, I love mini wheats. I had to throw them a bone, Donald, plus they're not that bad. I like them a decent bit and feel like they're an A tier if we categorize the healthy cereal. I'll let this slide just so Joe stops acting so weird. Thanks, Donnie. Our next S tier is going to be Cheerios because they are healthy, lower cholesterol, and genuinely taste good. I agree. You can also have them as snacks, and once you finish eating all the Cheerios, you can drink the milk and it tastes sweet like honey. I know you guys probably would think I hate this, but I think this is genuinely good. I have no issues. Next, I have Reese's Puff at A tier because they are elite, but the other chocolate cereal have it beat honestly. What hell no? The peanut butter adds such a good mix, Barack. This is an L take from you. I know it should be S, but I just can't put it there. Maybe when the list is done, I'll rethink it. Up next, I got Rice Krispie Treat cereal at C tier. They're good, but still, I would rather have chocolate Krispies. I also see up next, we got another Cheerios box. I don't know the difference, so it'll just go in B. You better not do Lucky Charms, Dirty Barack. Yeah, I love the marshmallow thingies that it has. I think I'm putting it as an A tier, fellas. The marshmallows are elite, but once you eat them all, you're left with bland cereal. Same can't be said with our next S tier, and that is the Cocoa Krispies. This shit is delicious. On God, Barack, then when you finish all the cereal, you got a bowl of chocolate milk. I hate to agree with Joe, but he's right. It's an elite cereal. Thanks, guys. And up next, I have Fruit Loops going at A tier because they're kind of like Apple Jacks minus the cinnamon, but they're really good. And then I have Raisin Bran at C tier. God, I hate Raisin Bran. Imagine someone giving you such a shitty cereal that they stockpile that shit with sugar just so you can eat it. Isn't that Frosted Flakes? You don't get it, Joe. They are not the same. Speaking of not the same, Golden Crisp is not the same as the other cereals, and I think it's a D tier. Unlike the Fruity Pebbles, which I have going at S tier because it is an elite cereal. Fruity Pebbles are so elite, Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles belong in the Cereal Hall of Fame. I would once again twerk for these cereals. Donnie, settle down. We are not even at the Cocoa Pebbles yet. Shut up, Joe. We all know where it's headed anyways. I hate going out of order, but he is right. I then have Cocoa Puffs at A, and then I have Frosted Flakes at S tier. This shit is delicious, and it leaves behind this sugary milk. Like, I don't even care if I get diabetes. Well, I care if I'll get diabetes. Joe, you'll die of dementia before anything else. Don't worry about diabetes. All right, settle down, fellas. I have Captain Crunch Berries at A tier. This one is a banger, I'm not going to lie. Whoa, I agree, but more importantly, where are we putting Double Raisin Bran and Honeycomb at? Joe, don't even act like those are contenders for anything good. Barack is putting that shit in C tier. Stop trying to play them up. Donald knows me. I also have tricks at B tier, but I really like those tricks yogurt things. Whatever happened to those? You know, I fucking love those things. I don't know what happened to them. Michelle probably ordered them to shut down because she didn't want to make more fat kids like Donnie. You shut your mouth, you sleepy fuck. I am literally the definition of a chiseled alpha male. Joe, shut up. Let's just finish this list. I want a game. I have Pops at C tier and Cocoa Pebbles, of course, go in S tier. There is no surprise here. The commercials for Pops made me crave it so much. But then when I actually ate Pops, it reminded me of why I don't get it. Realest shit you've said yet, Joey. Lastly, I have these Honey Smacks at D tier. This shit was sold in these big ass bags. It was like it was made to feed horses. It is borderline prison food. You hear that, Donald? You better start getting these since you gotta adjust to the prison lifestyle. Ah, oh, listen, guys, they are not taking me to prison. I'd like to see those fuckers try to... FBI, Fuck! Hey, everyone. Your presidential boys are back at it again with yet another tier list. It's only a matter of time before we start making a tier list about air. I wouldn't underrate fresh air, Donald. You're gonna miss it when you're in prison. Joe, don't you go starting this again. Settle down, gents. Let's go ahead and get this condiments tier list started. So for our first entry, I have Dijon mustard going in C tier. What? No way, I am a mustard enjoyer and there is no way Dijon mustard is in C tier. You seem like a must-tard for that take, Joey. Mustard is okay, but I can't have it with anything alone aside from a hot dog and a burger. On God, Donald, when do you ever see someone dipping their fries in mustard, hmm? I like to sometimes dip my fries in a little bit of yellow mustard when- Stop it, you freak. I thought you were gonna say honey mustard, but yellow mustard? Gross, anyways, we already got our first S tier and that is guacamole. Yes, Barack, if there's one thing those damn illegals know how to do, it's build great houses, clean very well. Frankly, they do some great lawn work as well, make some fantastic food, but most important of all, they know how to make a goddamn great guacamole. I would Piper Perry a motherfucker for some guac right now. Strangely enough, I agreed with everything you just said. Aside from that last sentence, but I hope you'll feel the same about hummus because that's our first A tier. 
it comes from Egypt and is associated with Arabs, but it is extremely halal. So I must agree with that amazing take. Give me some hummus and carrots and I am set. Donnie, stop trying to act like you'd ever touch a vegetable. The hell are you talking about, Joe? I love carrots. Must explain the orange skin. Okay, guys, enough. Anyways, up next, I got Jack Daniel's sweet and spicy barbecue sauce at B tier. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I have a soft spot for Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and much prefer it. That's okay, Barack. I think we all have soft spots for certain things. Only soft spot you have is in your brain, Joey. You're probably gonna want your honey mussy at S tier up next. Well, yeah, it's freaking honey mustard. I love eating it with my chicken tendies. Just because you said that I am putting it in B tier, but I can't even lie, I do like me some honey mustard. I dabble in the occasional honey mustard dip. You guys don't understand. Honey mustard is literally the best. It can go on almost anything. I will for real twerk for that shit. And it's definitely staying in B tier. Up next, we got actual honey going in A tier because, well, it's honey and I think everyone loves it. Fun fact, guys, did you all know that having a honey allergy is rare? With an estimated incidence of less than 0.001% in the general population. Pretty cool, right? That is not pretty cool. That sounds sorry as hell. How the hell are you going to be allergic to honey? God, you might as well keel over anything at that point. Motherfuckers being allergic to honey is like the equivalent of someone taking Lizzo's advice for workouts. Both are equally lousy. Can we stop with the Lizzo hate? She actually has some bangers. Well, I can't say jokes about Jonah Hill. He stopped Kanye from hating Jews. On God trumpet. Anyways, we have Cholula up next, which I'm confidently placing in A tier. It's better than Tabasco sauce, and I love having it on my eggs when I'm not using ketchup. A little too spicy for me, but I like the way it tastes as well. A little too spicy? Come on, Donald, it's more vinegar than anything else. More vin what, Joey? Stop with that bit, Donald. We gotta get to maple syrup up next, and I can confidently say that it is a B tier. Honey clears it. On God, Barack, I'll split a wig if anyone dares to say maple syrup is better. That's some Canadian shit, and I do not fuck with Canadians. There he goes again with his rant. It's not a rant, I'm just saying the world would be better if we just wiped them off the face of the planet like the vermin they are. Like if I had the choice to cure AIDS and cancer or kill all of the Canadians, I would do the Canadian one 10 times over. You're just mad that Drake talks to me and not you. Yeah, he's salty as fuck about not getting the autograph from Drake anyways. We got Prego marinara sauce next and that's another A tier to be honest. I love marinara sauce on my pasta and on my mozzarella sticks. Ooh, I love pasta. This is a W of a choice Barack. I am telling you guys, I am on fire with the list recently. Then we have mayo up next. And that's the next S tier, fellas. This shit is so versatile and is used in so much stuff. Oh my God, I love mayo. I can eat that shit straight out the tub. Wait, what? Joey, that is not fucking normal. Did you expect us to jump for joy when you said that stinky ass shit? Eating a whole tub of mayo? Jesus Christ. Your cholesterol must be out of control, Joey. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, I just... No, you definitely meant it like that. That is gross, Joey, borderline asinine. Yeah, I just feel gross after hearing that, but nonetheless, we gotta keep going with the list, and I have ranch at S tier as well. It goes on pizza, wings, fries, nuggets. It's another goaded sauce, in my opinion. Yeah, but I feel like if you have too much ranch, it gets kinda gross. I don't disagree, but in moderation, it is amazing. Unlike our first D tier entry, and that's relish. When have you ever heard anyone ask for relish on anything that's not a hot dog? Yeah, but it's pretty good on hot dogs. Hey, it's all right, but I'm not gonna bend over backwards for some relish. Ain't no motherfucker gonna cry over relish going in D tier. On God, Donald, relish is probably the worst thing on this whole condiment list. Same can't be said for Tostito salsa, and I have that in B tier. It's some good salsa from a jar, and it's pretty easy to enjoy. Yeah, you set that up alongside some chips and it's an easy snack to enjoy. Shit is good. For real, Joey, up next I have Prego Pesto. And even though it can only be used on pasta, I'm still putting that shit in B tier because it is good. Okay, so then why is relish in D tier? That's not fair. Ignore him, Barack. I agree that it should go somewhat high. I love some good pesto. Thanks, Donnie. Honest questions for everyone. How are we feeling about sriracha? I like it, but I don't like love it. The same for me, honestly, it's decent, and I'd say above Dijon mustard, but at times it can be a bit too oriental for me. I don't know what that means, but I'd agree that it isn't amazing, but I'd say B tier is a solid placing for it. That's what I was thinking, and next I got soy sauce in C tier. I really like it, but it is way too salty and filled with sodium. It's also super overpowering, but with a little, it adds the perfect amount of flavor to some dishes. Yeah, but you can't dip food in it unless it's like sushi. Agreed, I then have tartar sauce going in B tier alongside Tabasco. 
Both are pretty solid, but I don't think they exceed a B. Factual? We got our fourth S tier, and that is ketchup. This shit goes on so many things, and it is just so amazing. On God, Barack, I'll put ketchup on my fries, hot dogs, meatloaf, you name it. Joe, I can't disagree with you here. Ketchup is indeed one of the best condiments. Thanks, guys. I got Frank's Red Hot going at A tier because it's a good hot sauce. It's a classic. And it can go on so much shit. Then, and I am sorry, Joe, but I am putting yellow mustard at C tier. I just feel disgusted that you would put that shit by itself on your fries. Don't knock it till you try it. Nah, that shit sounds rancid as fuck. I don't think I will ever be trying that shit. We're almost done with the list, and I have Thousand Island at B tier because it's a solid dressing for salads, and it tastes pretty good in general, not gonna lie. Then I have Sweet Baby Ray's at A tier because that shit is banging. God, I love Sweet Baby Ray's. I bet you love you some Ray's deep inside of you, don't you, Joey? Donald, stop. And finishing up, I have the bomb at D tier as well. Like, why the fuck is this even here? Who genuinely enjoys this extremely hot sauce? Like, you have to be a masochist for this. Like, you'd enjoy getting pain inflicted upon you. You of all people putting the bomb in D tier is just absurd. We all know how much you enjoyed bombing stuff, Barack. Haha, <laughs> real funny there, Donald. You got everyone laughing. I thought it was funny. And that's why you're not coming to Wendy's with us later. Aw, oh, hamburgers. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're ending off Trump week with a bang, and we are doing a tier list based on limited time fast food items. A special shout out to Frederick Munster 6024 for the idea, and let's go ahead and get started with this list, because I see a banger to start off and that is the Taco Bell nacho fries. These things are so delicious, and I'm happy to start the list off with an easy A tier in all honesty. Agreed, Donald. The cheese sauce paired with the fries is simply elite, and I love these things a lot. Whenever Taco Bell has them, I make sure to get them. That cheese be versatile, too. I'll put that on everything after I finish my fries and I have some cheese left over. I can't even lie. I'd be slurping that cheese if I have no food to dip it in. That is absolutely putrid, Joey. I don't know if you thought we would agree with you and be like, hell yeah, we love slurping cheese too. Like, no, that's gross. And you should feel bad you even said that. Moving past that, we got the Mexican pizza. And even though I don't like that first word in that food, I have to admit, those illegals make a damn good pizza. It's an honest C tier. Okay, Donald, you do realize that it's not actually a real Mexican pizza. It's just a menu item for Taco Bell, but yeah, they're pretty all right. I remember liking it more than I actually did when they brought it back I had one again and again, it wasn't bad, but like, it wasn't the best thing ever. I agree with the C tier. I've never had a Mexican pizza, guys. I only get my pizza from Little Caesars, and that is elite. Joe, that's gross, and save that for the next tier list. Up next, we got our first S tier, and that is the Fiery Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell again. I'm starting to notice that Taco Bell has the best limited time food. Why the hell don't they just keep these amazing items? But yeah, we got this in S tier because they add a perfect amount of flavor spice to the tacos and taste like better Doritos Locos Tacos, and those were already elite as hell. I love Doritos Locos Tacos so much, they're possibly my favorite thing from Taco Bell. It grosses me out you agreeing with me, but you know what? I'm glad you feel the same way, Joey. Wow, we all seem to be in agreement. That's pretty cool. Taco Bell brings everyone together, but yes, now we move on to the first D tier, and that is this gross unicorn frap thing from Starbucks. It didn't taste absolutely awful, but it pissed me off seeing how much people made a big fuss about it online, and just for that, it deserves D tier alone. I loved these. Me and my bestie Aubrey would go and get them when we'd go on our Starbies runs. Jesus Joe, stop calling him Aubrey. You're gonna make Donald think it's a girl. Oh, hell no, of course, him and Drake would get these together. I don't know what's fruitier, their bromance or this drink. The next item we got is the beefy crunch burrito from Taco Bell, and this was also amazing. The chips in the burrito added a perfect layer of crunchiness to my burrito, and it's an honest to God A tier, and I would place it higher, but I'm saving the S tier for the most elite of items. You better have some good stuff in S tier, Donnie. This item is a big hit, like I would push a disabled kid down some stairs for a single bite of that burrito. Whoa, that's a bit too far, Barack. I'd like only push a Make-A-Wish kid down some stairs at max. Okay, can you two relax? We got a personal favorite of mine, but I recognize they're not the best thing, and that is the Mac and Cheetos. They're crunchy and gooey at the same time. This is pretty good and deserving of a B tier in all honesty. I don't remember them being that good. And didn't they give you like only six Cheetos in the package? It's probably a C tier at best, Donald. Simply get your money up, Barack, and you wouldn't care if it came with six because you'd have bought more and would have enjoyed their flavor. The next B tier we got is the KFC Double Down, and it was good, but shit, man. 
I felt like I was going to have a heart attack eating this. It's a great idea, though. The genius who decided to make a sandwich where the bread is chicken deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. God, that thing screams America to me. Yeah, but then your fingies get too greasy, and it's kind of uncomfortable to eat, to be honest. Yeah, and it seems a bit excessive. Couldn't you achieve the same results with two chicken patties in the middle? Shut up, guys. I have the superior taste buds, and it's only a B tier. It's not like I placed it in S tier. This next entry, however, I am sorry to any McRib fans, but this is going into D tier right off the bat. I kid you not, I took a bite out of a McRib, and I genuinely felt less human, like a piece of my humanity shattered and dissipated into the atmosphere. I still ate it all, but it felt like I was eating a barbecue rubber sandwich, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I think I would rather be gangbanged by Mandingo and Lex Steele than ever take another bite of a McRib. Jesus, Donald, you must feel really strongly about that. Also, who's Mandingo and Lex Steele? Oh, Barack, you need to grow up and see the world more. Mandingo and Lex Steele are some fine gentlemen, some of my favorite actors. Oh, I guess I'll check out some of their movies later. You've probably already seen them without realizing Barack anyways. We got the McDonald's Southwest salad, and hear me out, guys. This is an S tier. Now you may be thinking, wow, Donald is so much healthier than me for eating that salad. And you'd be correct, but aside from that, this salad is one of the best things to ever come out of the McDonald's menu. They still have it, but it no longer has the fried chicken as an option. I still urge all of America to go to their closest McDonald's, ask for a Southwest salad with Southwest dressing, and yes, it has to be Southwest dressing. Pour all the ingredients into the bowl, and then pour all the dressing inside, give it all a good mix, and enjoy. You all have been put on by the great Don. You know what, after that whole speech, I feel like I'm gonna have to try one just for you, man. Yeah, so I just looked it up, and despite it being a salad, it has like a thousand calories, so like it's not really healthy. Shut the fuck up, Joey, and don't track the macros. Just enjoy food for the fine art it is. Up next, we have another S tier, and that is the Naked Chalupa. And oh my God, I would come for this thing. It is the best thing from Taco Bell. I would twerk for this thing all day long. Once they have a box for that thing, I order that every day of the month. Yeah, we can tell by your size that you ordered it that much. Shut the hell up, Joey, as for our final entry. America, this may upset you, but shamrock shakes are a C tier for me personally. It's good, but I can't have one every day. Still good, though. I am a certified shamrock hater. Why the fuck does anyone like mint? Go brush your teeth if you like mint. It's the same shit. Want a shamrock shake? Go mix some toothpaste and vanilla ice cream. It'll taste the same. Don't you fucking dare say that, Joey. You need to follow your own advice and probably get something minty. Since you have rancid old man breath, you deteriorating old shit. The only minty thing about me is how fresh I dress. Get owned by the J-Dog. Shamcock shakes will forever be ass, and so will anything mint-flavored. Hey, everyone, it's my turn to make some lists, and I want to take a moment to thank Zach Martin 3006 for this idea. As soon as we saw it, we all knew we had to rank some Pop-Tart flavors because they are delicious as hell, and I think I am a connoisseur of the tarts that pop. Yeah, you're a huge tart, a big friggin' retard, if you ask me. I've never seen someone as tarted as you. Oh, gee whiz, thanks, Donnie. Joey, you know that? Never mind, you'd be happier without knowing, but please enlighten us with your list, Joey. Oh, yeah, time to get epic. Anyways, first and foremost, I feel like we have to put blueberry in A tier. Personally, when I think of Pop-Tart, I think of blueberry. But I don't think it's the best flavor, if that makes sense. I totally get that. Whenever you see Pop-Tarts, you always see a blueberry. It's a great, safe option. You know, Joey, I figured that you'd pick a fruit-flavored one and put it high. You always seemed like a fruity guy. I am a fruity guy. I like to think I'm the fruitiest guy I know. Thanks for being so nice to me today, Donald. I really didn't expect it. Moving on, we got brown sugar up next, and that's a solid A tier as well. People be sleeping on brown sugar, but I think it's another safe option again, and it's good. Joe, this is an okay choice. I agree. People sleep on brown sugar, but it probably could have gone in B tier. Nah, trust me. Just let me cook on this one. With my next entry, I'm putting cherry in C tier. What the hell, Joey? I don't think it's that bad. Isn't it basically the same as blueberry? No, you freaking buffoon. It is not the same. You guys ever compare a real cherry to artificial cherry flavored things? They are not the same, and I, for one, am a hater of artificial cherry. I do not want that Pop-Tart, but if it's there, I will eat it. It will remain in C tier. Can't really disagree as I never had cherry Pop-Tarts. I'm just used to popping them. Gross, Donald, but Joe, what about everyone else who likes cherry flavored things? Fuck them. Anywho, I got chocolate cookie dough and chocolate chip both in B tier. They are better than cherry and I love chocolate. 
Call me the chocolate man, I'd be eating dookie like it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Joe, listen to half the shit you say. It either makes no sense or you somehow in your dementia-ridden head believe it to be cool. Just let Joey be himself, Donnie, but these are solid selections for B-tier. I'm just keeping my eye out for this one particular chocolate flavor. Is it the chocolate fudge Pop-Tart? Because that is going straight to A-tier. Like I said, I am the chocolate man, and I think this is better than the other two. Okay, that's more valid than what you did to the cherry-flavored Pop-Tarts. Are we still going on about that? Jeez. Next, you'll say that the confetti-flavored Pop-Tarts are good, but they're actually garbage and go in D-tier. Sleepy Joe wakes up from his slumber, I agree. Anyone that likes confetti or shit with a ton of sprinkles must have a hole in their brain. I am not a fan of birthday-flavored things and this confetti cupcake one. They are scamming you, America, with this lazily-flavored product. What if I like that flavor, guys? You deserve the absolute worst in life if you do. Like that flavor is stinky as hell. And if you like it, then you must be a stinky person. Anyways, don't worry, everyone. We'll wash our brains of that with our first S tier, and that is the cookies and cream. These are so appetizing. I will absolutely get on my hands and knees for this flavor. This biracial flavor is a bop. I am a huge fan as well. W of a choice here, Joey. I don't get it. If you're a fan of cookies and cream, why not just get Oreos? They taste exactly the same. No, they do not, Donald, you freaking Neanderthal. There is a very clear difference only the most elevated of Pop-Tart eaters will know. Up next, we have another banger, and that is the hot fudge sundae flavor. Oh my God, this can bring tears to my eye from how good it is, but it's not in the elite section. I'm only holding two flavors up there. Joe, never call me that again. So we know cookies and cream are there, but what the hell could the other one be, Joey? Patience, Donnie. Up next, we got raspberry, and I'm gonna be honest, I like it, but I prefer strawberry. So I'm putting this in B tier. I feel like it's an honest placement for it because everyone likes strawberries more. Way to assume there, Joey. What about the people that prefer raspberries over strawberries? And what about those innocent kids that you blew up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Never question me again, Barry. Next, we got red velvet going at C tier, and it's an okay flavor. I much rather have the next flavor, and that is the s'mores Pop-Tarts, which are going in A tier. These are good as hell, and the marshmallow and chocolate flavors make for an elite Pop-Tart. So now that we got that out, we can assume that your sleepy ass put strawberry in A tier as well, since you put raspberry in B, and said strawberry was better. Donald, what the heck, man? This is my list, and I get to rate them. But yeah, they go in A tier, but I bet you won't guess where the unfrosted ones go. Your old shriveled, shrinky, dinky ass would probably like these unflavored messes. Wrong, Donald. I actually have all three in F tier, as they taste like doo-doo fart, and I am not a fan of them at all. Give me all the sweet stuff, even if it gives me diarrhea which directly leads us to the finale, the magnum opus of sweet Pop-Tarts. And that is the wild berry flavor. I would sacrifice one of my kids for this Pop-Tart. Now, Joe, we know how much you like Pop-Tarts, but that's a pretty insensitive thing to say. How could you get rid of any of your precious kids? This fucker is just using that as an excuse to get rid of Hunter, I bet. Well, as the great Drewski once said, you got me. <laughs> what is going on, gang? We are back after a long pause, and we are here to bring you another tier list. But this one involves one of my favorite things, and that is pizza pie. I would twerk for some good pizza right about now. Well, good thing we don't have any near us at the moment because not a single soul in this world wants to see that Joey. On God Barack, plus we all know I would throw it back better than Joey ever could, just like how I was a better president than he could ever imagine himself being. Anyways, let's get started with the list and I see home run in pizza on this list. And we have home run in pizza twice in this list and I am putting the frozen pizza version of it in C tier. It's pretty solid and easy to cook, the perfect rating for an okay pizza. Also helps to add that no pizza is truly bad because we all know that pizza bangs no matter what. Really? What if it was pineapple pizza, guys? I personally would rather lick Ron Jeremy's taint than eat that garbage. If you're putting pineapples on your pizza, you may as well be putting goddamn blueberries on that shit. Go ahead, what's stopping you? Fruit simply doesn't belong on pizza. There goes Joe not taking his dementia meds again. I am a pineapple on pizza truther. It provides the perfect bit of acidity and sweetness to a salty pizza. And if you pair that with some jalapenos, Jesus, I will come at the thought of that. If you hate pineapples on pizza, you simply are not an elite pizza eater. I personally don't care either way. I'll eat any pizza if it's there, no matter what, to be honest. Barack, you can't tell me you'd eat some garbage Hawaiian pizza, right? Joe, you do realize where I was born, right? Uh, Africa? And they say I'm the offensive one. Jesus, America, wake up. 
Anyways, up next we got CeCe's, and this place is going straight to D tier. I honestly believe you'd be better off eating frozen pizza than eating at this place. It did have a unique concept with the pizza buffet, but like, let's be honest, guys, it's pretty garbage. Yeah, but garbage can be yummy sometimes. I guess that has to be true, considering how you and Barack enjoy being married to your wives. Uncalled for man, what the hell, I've been on your side. Sorry, Barry, sometimes the Dominator can't focus on one target. What I can focus on is the fact that Domino's is an A-tier pizza place, especially for fast food chain pizza places. Man, get me that garlic crust, and I will bark and go on all fours for that pizza. Can't lie that garlic crust is elite. I'd giga twerk for that. Giga what? Jesus, but that's a solid selection for our first A-tier, to be honest. Of course it is. I put it there so it is simply an elite selection, you dingus. Up next, I am putting Papa John's and DiGiorno in B-tier. I think DiGiorno is one of the best frozen pizzas and Papa John's as well. It's kind of a mess internally, but the pizza isn't bad. Some say that Mr. Papa was spitting on what he was saying. Not a goddamn soul was saying that. What did he spit? Was he spitting on the pizza? Gross. But I like how Shaq is in the commercials now. I just feel so safe and secure knowing his big, strong hands is helping make my pizzas. Purr. What the hell? Joe, you get more and more odd every day. Now, this next one is home run in pizza, but like the actual restaurant, and I can't lie. I went to one before, and I had severe diarrhea from that place. I spent the whole night on the toilet just evacuating my entire insides into my toilet bowl. Just for that experience, I have to give it an F. But, Donald, it's not really fair to rate a place based on just one singular experience. What if they're really good and yummy and you just went to a bad place? I like the in-person restaurants. I would rather eat a used condom than visit that place again. Up next, we got Red Baron going in C-tier. I like the name Baron. Reminds me of my son. Wow, what a way to rate things. Listen, Barack, it is my list, but I will admit the great Don needs your help for these next two because I haven't had enough Chicago pizza to know the difference between these two, and I know you were in Chicago for quite a bit. Dude, you literally have a tower named after you in that city. I'm not trying to get shot in that city by all the troglodytes just to find out if Lou Malnatis is better than Giordano's. God, these Guido names are so hard to pronounce. God, you cannot be saying these things. But I guess I can help. Now, I think they're both great places and the best of all the things on this list. But I would put Lou over Giordano's personally, so I think an S tier for Lou would be appropriate. Their deep dish is amazing. God, I hate deep dish. Chicago pizza is so overrated compared to New York pizza. On God, Donnie, I hate all that tomato paste in my mouth. It makes me feel like I'm eating a tomato pie. Plus, it's just so thick and like, what the heck is the point? I want pizza. I don't want a freaking mush pie in my mouth. On God, Joey, only pies I want are creams. Guys, it's literally called pizza pie. The whole freaking point of deep dish is for that novelty. God, you two piss me off sometimes. But yeah, I would personally put Lou at S tier and Giordano's at A tier alongside fucking Domino's, I guess. God. Yeah, I guess that's cool, but we got Little Caesars up next, and boy howdy, that's a pretty mid pizza, but it is only $5, so like I have to give it an A tier just for that. It is pretty bad pizza, though. Like, objectively, it is worse than the ones below it. But Barry, it is only $5. Joey gets it. Do not order Little Caesars sides that are not crazy bread. I got wings from Little Caesars, and I swear that a leather boot would have been easier to swallow. Okay, so you're going to ignore how Joey pronounced $5? Okay, sure. And I do have to say that the crazy bread does indeed go crazy shit as gas. Yeah, call that crazy bread schizophrenic with how good it tastes. Anyways, we got Pizza Hut up next, and much like Domino's, I am a pretty big fan of the Hut. I want to put this in A tier, quite honestly. I don't mind that placement, honestly. I would devour that pizza, and they have pretty good sides, too. To put it in words that Barack would like, their pizza is the bomb, and I love it. I cannot say the same for Tombstone Pizza. That shit is dog food. Actually, I am swapping it from D tier to F tier with Home Run In. I would rather be poisoned again than ever have Tombstone Pizza. Since I'm talking about bad pizza, I am putting S Barrow in D tier. It's mall court pizza, and I think that speaks for itself. I'm happy you finally put home run in slightly higher now. We can end a list calmly with Totino's at like C now. Are you crazy, Barack? C tier, really? They made pizza rolls and that shit is fucking gas. Okay, but we're talking about pizza, not pizza rolls. Back me up on this, Donnie. I'm afraid Sleepy Joe is speaking facts. You're speaking to king of pizza rolls, 
and this shit is elite just for the invention of pizza rolls, I am placing Totino's at S tier. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, my pizza rolls are ready. Hold on, guys. Lucky. What is going on, gang -lang? We are back with another tier list, but this time it is a chocolate bar tier list with a few exceptions because I know Payday, Whoppers, and M&Ms are not candy bars, but you make a couple of exceptions. But for the most part, it is all chocolate. Only reason we even have these is because Joey loves popping those big black Whopper balls in his mouth. You betcha, I love Whoppers the most of those three, to be honest. I'm glad you remembered Donald. Joe, for the love of God, just start the list already before you embarrass yourself even more. Uh, okay, I guess up first we got a 100 grand bar and this is pretty decent. I would definitely eat these if they were just there. So I think B tier is good for the bar. Yeah, Sleepy Joe has a point. They're decent, but I wouldn't keel over if someone said I couldn't have one. On God, Donnie T next. I think everyone here has to agree that the Three Musketeers bar belongs in F tier and I would place it lower if I could. Agreed. Give anyone this bar and if they happily eat it, then you know that you would never want to associate with that person ever in your life. You know, I'm surprised that Joey here didn't say they were his favorite. He seems like the type of slow person to like these things. No, they are icky as hell. I'm not a fan of these at all. Anyone that eats these should just stop saying they're chocolate lovers. Same can be said with the Fifth Avenue bar, which is also bad, but I put it one tier above the Three Musketeers. No one should eat or enjoy these things. That is fine and dandy, but I swear to God, Joe, if you don't put this next one up high. Ew, you like Almond Joy? Who the hell likes that gross candy bar? Uh, lots of people do. Who the hell doesn't like coconut and chocolate? On God Barack, this dude doesn't realize the elite combo chocolate and coconut provide. It deserves at least an A tier. I would even say it should be an S tier. I deadass twerk for Almond Joy. I will jump for joy if someone brings me one. Uh, fine, I'll put it at A tier, but it's honestly like a C tier, if even that, to be honest. Shut your stupid whore mouth, Joey. We will not let you desecrate this delicious treat from God himself. You guys are a bunch of weirdos anyways. Up next, we got a baby Ruth bar. And once again, I think we have hit something pretty mid. I think a C tier is fine because the bar is decent, but like I would not jump for joy if someone gave me one. I would eat it and feel fat, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Stop insinuating that this is on the same level as an almond joy by saying, oh, we have mid again, you sleepy fuck. But yeah, I agree that it is simply mid as hell and belongs in C tier. The next thing on the list looks very appetizing though. Now you're speaking my language, Donnie. I love Butterfingers. I will twerk for some Butterfingers and I will confidently place it in S tier. A bit too high, it constantly gets stuck in my teeth, man. It should go in B or A. You simply do not know Ball Barack. I bet you're the type of person to like Charleston Chews. What if I am? Is there a problem with that? Damn right there's a problem that Charleston Chew sucks ass and tastes like Lizzo's gooch after the hardest workout of her life. It will go into D tier. Up next, we got a couple of mid entries. We have Heath bars and Hershey kisses going into C tier. They are all right, but let's be honest, no one is dying over these bars. I can agree with that, I guess, but where do normal Hershey's go? Don't worry, I'm placing Hershey's into B tier and I think it's mainly for legacy reasons, but it is mid, but a good mid. Oh man, though, we got Kit Kats up next, and oh my freaking gosh, I will like bust a neck vein from how good these things are. Perfect amount of crunch and flavor on these, and if you get the flavored ones, they are even more elite. It is so weird for me to agree with what Sleepy Joe is saying, but this dude cannot stop spitting facts. Kit Kats are the most elite of chocolate, and they belong in the Hall of Fame for chocolate bars. Agreed, Donnie. And now, unfortunately, we are back to mid, and I have normal M&Ms going into C tier because they're not as good as their peanut butter counterpart. If we had the peanut butter ones that would go to A tier, I'd argue. And even worse, we got a Mars bar here. Shit is garbage and will go into D tier for me, honestly. Okay, now what's wrong with a Mars bar? What isn't wrong with a Mars bar? God, Barack, you just don't get chocolate like I do. And since Barack looks like a milk dud, we might as well rate that too. I will confidently put that into F tier. How the hell do I look like a milk dud? I have hair and the joke would have worked if I were bald, but I'm not. Don't listen to him, Joe Bag. That was a good one. God, I can't believe Barack is here getting decimated by a dementia-ridden old fart. Thanks, Donnie. And God, looking at these next bars, it's all just so mid. I got Milky Way going into C tier and Mr. Good Bar is going into B tier because they're both, once again, just nothing amazing or outstanding. Same can't be said for the Crunch Bar because I will get down on my hands and knees for a good Crunch Bar which I am confidently putting into A tier. 
Joey, now you are speaking my language. Milky Way isn't all that because I'd rather have a Twix and I love crunch. I'd even argue for it in S tier. I disagree. Crunch is a good solid piece and it barely reaches A tier to be honest. It's nothing amazing though. It's just a Hershey's bar with a bit of Rice Krispies in it basically. Yeah, but for what it is, I love the hell out of it and Barry has a point. It should go into S tier, but I'll keep it in A tier for now. I know what everyone is thinking for this next one and I know payday isn't chocolate, but it is a bar. A bar that is not good at all and is too dry for my liking. It goes into D tier and barely. Reese's then goes into A tier because peanut butter and chocolate never fails to amaze me. Joey, how the hell is Reese's not an S tier? That shit is amazing as hell. I just want to keep the list even and not have too many S tiers and unfortunately that did not make the cut. I swear to God, Joe, if you put Snickers and S over Twix. Don't worry, Barry, I got you. I have Snickers and A tier as a very close S tier, but I have Twix over it and have that going into S tier. How the hell is Twix in S, but Snickers isn't? That is asinine and it is rigged like the election was. Yeah, yeah, keep whining. I then I'm going to put Whoppers into A tier. Hell no, Joey, you're putting that in B tier and that's that. I do not care how much you like big black balls in your mouth. Fine, it'll go into B tier, but I do love me some big black balls. Is no one going to say anything about what we all just heard? Sorry, Barack, but what's wrong with saying I love some big black balls? Oh, and I guess I like Whoppers too. What is up, Gang of Lang? It is your favorite president, the Doninator himself, and I am going to do a fast food fries tier list alongside Barack and unfortunately Sleepy Joe. What's so unfortunate about making a list with me? I am the big Meech, the big Papa. They call me the Joe Dog, hold the mustard. They hold the must, but not the tard with you anyways. Let's go ahead and get this list started because I, for one, don't enjoy wasting time. We have Zaxby's and these nasty fries. I don't want to hear anyone try to vouch for these things. Frankly, I'd be a bit upset if you tried vouching for Zaxby's in general. Like, what kind of name is that for a place? It isn't that bad, honestly. I think the fries could have gone in the OK rating rather than the nasty one. I mean, it's pretty hard to mess up fries and make them unappetizing, to be honest. Oh, but they managed to do just that. Trust me, Barry, I'm a fry and fast food expert. The people know that the word of the Don is the word of the law. See, up next we got Carl's Jr. or Hardee's if you're from another part of our glorious country, and these are pretty mid. I am truly neutral about them, just like how Joey here is completely neutral about our country going down the gutter because of him. What about neuters? I don't see what gutters have to do with them, but oh boy, we have Chick-fil-A fries up next. I sure do love some waffle fries with their Chick-fil-A sauce. Joey, you are spitting right now. Where do we have these Donnie S tier or maybe A tier even? This is how I know you buffoons don't know anything about what makes a good fry. They tricked y'all with their fries. Chick-fil-A has very neutral to good fries, but ultimately you may be asking yourself, Donald, are you crazy? These are amazing. Nah, man, trust the Don. The sauce is what makes those waffle fries elite, but I will admit they are still decent. I just think crinkle cut fries are superior and are way better for dipping purposes as well. Now that's outrageous. I would never fall for a sauce. Next, you'll say the Burger King chicken fries are bad. And if you said that me and Barack would go giga mad at you. I can't entirely agree with the Chick-fil-A take, but don't lump me in with your Burger King antics, Joey. I'm happy you said that, Barry, because the Burger King chicken fries and the Burger King Cheeto chicken fries are both not amazing, and I will be putting them below neutral to be quite frank. They just don't hit the same. And when I think of fry, I only think of potatoes. The same can't be said of our first S tier, and that is the tried and true McDonald's fries. That is the most American purebred fry I will ever eat or taste in my life. Make sure you get them fresh though, and you will be in heaven for every bite. I hard dick ride McDonald's, and I will never be ashamed of it. I am just upset about how they massacred my McChicken price. Really riding that McDonald's train, Donnie, but I do agree they have the best ice cream cones from any fast food chain. Quite honestly, I don't give a shit about your ice cream, Joey. I am a fry man, and up next, I got a big opinion on the KFC fries. Like, you have to be quite a devious human being to seek out fries from Kentucky Fried Chicken. I would flip my shit if I asked someone for a fry and they handed me a KFC fry purely based off principle, but I still place it below neutral. Wow, you must really hate Zaxby's, Donald. On everything in my life, I despise that place. If I could sacrifice the life of a bunch of illegals in exchange for erasing Zaxby's from human history, I would. But then how will all your hotels and buildings be made, Donald? Ah, crap, you have a point. Never mind, you got me there, Barack. Plus, my beloved Mexican places would shut down and Trump can't go without his Taco Tuesdays. 
Anyways, up next we have Wendy's fries going into S tier as well. And before any of you crucify me and hang me like Epstein, I will ask you all one question. Have you all tried the new Wendy's fries yet? Now I know before Wendy's fries tasted like raw sewage being slurred into your mouth, but these new fries. Man, oh man, these new fries. I just can tell you all how good they are. My mere mortal words wouldn't be enough to describe the gift the gods have descended upon us. These new fries are the most twerkable thing on this list, and it is quite honestly a good comeback story from Wendy's. Jesus, Donald, I did not know you felt that strongly about Wendy's fries. Just for that whole monologue, I'll go get some later. Thank you, Barry. I feel like a follower of Christ spreading his message. Yeah, I've had them, and I have to agree with Donald shit bussing. I don't know how you did it, but you made me like it less all of a sudden. Let's just move on. And audience, I need your help. What in the ever-living hell are those fries? Like, where are they made? They don't look good, but I just never had them, so I'll put them in that tier. Up next, we got Burger King chicken rings, and I will be placing them with the rest of the Burger King items. These are not fries, so I don't know why the hell they're on this list. Our editor, Frail, probably got lazy and just found a random tier list online and didn't bother fixing it. Of course he would. God, that guy gets really sick and then takes a two-week break like he's really living up to his name of being frail. COVID was scared of getting into contact with my body because my DNA is made up of USA anyways. Up next, we got Bojangles, and this is awful. I also just hate the name Bojangles. Like, who the hell came up with that? Absolutely pisses me off. They go in the same tier as Zaxby's. Now, Donald, this is a bit ludicrous. You only have two fries in a positive tier while everything else is either mid or worse. I think you're being too picky right now. I have to be picky, Barack. I wouldn't want our loyal viewers to eat dookie fries from some piss poor establishment like Zaxby's. But I will say that our upcoming selection most definitely belongs in the very nice fries category. And that is the Taco Bell nacho fries. God, these things are so delicious and that's without cheese sauce as well. But if you add the cheese, you're gonna get me creaming. I love eating the fries first and then slurping up all that good and creamy cheese sauce. I just love feeling that viscous liquid reach the back of my throat on God. Joey, you're a disgusting creature, not meant to roam the face of this earth. You somehow one up your lousiness every day. Anyways, up next, we got what I assume to be our five guys fries. And if they are, then they most definitely belong in the very nice fries tier as those Cajun fries are to die for. And they give you so many damn fries, they are just overflowing. Oh yeah, you got it down 100%, Donald. Even in that picture, you can tell that they overfilled it and they then became even yummier bag fries. Bag fries increase the overall yum factor by 10. Something about seeing the grease at the bottom, goddamn man. Anyways, we return to mid with the Burger King fries. They are finally just normal fries and honestly, they aren't half bad. I give them a neutral rating, to be honest. I can't say the same for the Popeye's fries, though, because that shit is going straight to the top. These fries are the best thing if they're fresh. They are God's gift to man. And that's not even the best thing from Popeyes. Don't get me started on their biscuits because I will rant about how amazing they are. I snuck a bunch of Popeyes biscuits to the movie theater when I was watching the Lorax in 3D. And I ended up choking on that dry biscuits and needed to get the Heimlich performed on me by this mother of four who exclaimed that I needed water if I were to eat a biscuit. But what does she know? I run a damn country, and if I want a dry biscuit with no water, I'll do it again. I pray to God that next time no one saves you from choking. Anyways, we are on to our final entry, and that is the Arby's Curly Fries. It would be downright criminal for me to not put these at an S tier. Y'all can't sleep on Arby's Fries because those Curly Fries get me creaming as much as the Jack in the Box Fries do. Massive, massive W here from Donald. What can I say? The Don is always right. Unless it's about him winning the election. Hey gang, we are back yet again with another tier list, and this time we are doing a fruit tier list. And before anyone says anything, we do not have any exotic fruits here, so I don't want to hear the Latinos complain about the lack of guava or the Oriental people complain about the lack of rambutan. What the heck is rambutan? That sounds like a funny word. Of course, this guy knows nothing about fruit. He probably gets all his fruits from soda. Rambutan are these little spiny balls that probably resemble what you have down in your pants more than fruit. Gross Donald. Let's just go ahead and get this list started. To start things off, I am putting apples in A tier. A for apple, I love it. Not why I put it there, but whatever, sure. I just think it is a super solid fruit. I mean, who doesn't like a good apple? Up next, I'm putting bananas in C tier. They're kind of just there, and I never ever go out of my way for a banana. Plus, every time I eat one, Donald and Joe always laugh at me when I put it in my mouth. 
you're practically asking for it when you're throating that banana berry. Huh, good one, Donald, but in all honesty, cut up bananas in your cereal slaps, I can't even lie. So it's fine to cut it up and eat it in cereal, but it's not okay to eat it alone. Yes. Okay, that is completely absurd. Anyways, I got both blackberries and raspberries going into B tier. Barry put berries in B tier for Barry. Joe, calm down before you get a stroke. Hearing Joe say all that makes me angry that I'm also putting blueberries in B tier. Berries belong in B tier. Blue, rasp, or black, they all berries. Wow, okay, so he's not gonna say it again. Well, anyways, I got melons going into C tier. They are all right, but I would rather have many other things. Go figure Barack isn't a melon man. God, I love me some big old melons. I'll catch shot after shot of melons in my face. Yeah, I'll catch some back shots from some melons too. Now, I don't know about that one, Sleepy Joe. Enough. You two need to grow up. Up next, I got cherries going into A tier as they're pretty good overall, but those seeds annoy the hell out of me. Yeah, itty bitty cherries are all right, I guess. Makes sense you're not a melon man considering the cherries your wife has. What the hell did you just say? Nothing, look Barack, it's grapes and watermelon. Your people love those things. Now what the fuck do you mean by that? Ooh, now Donald, you know that's not okay. Now, 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 how about we all stop jumping to conclusions? I am just assuming that Barack's people, the Hawaiians, love watermelon because they are tropical fruits, and Barry always talks about his love for wine, so I just assumed he loves grapes. I'm letting this slide only because you're correct. I love grapes and watermelon so much that they go in S tier. Now, grapefruit, though, I want to put them in C tier because I like them, but I know everyone doesn't. Who the hell likes grapefruit? Are you an old man, Barack? You have to put a fruit in D tier, and this is the worst one out of all of them. For the record, I happen to love grapefruit. Oh, God, Donald, you're right. I'm moving it to D tier. Up next, we got mangoes, and I love me some mangoes. The illegals sure do love those fruits, too. I buy them by the baskets whenever I see one, and they always bang. They're slappers, man. The tropical fruit is always amazing, and same can be said about oranges. I freaking love both of these, and I am putting both into A tier. I almost wanted to put mango in S tier, but I want to be a bit reserved. Not too many S tiers. When I get mangoes, I suck on that ma like crazy. I be sucking the mango seed like I'm getting paid to do it. Back in college, they called me the suck machine with the way I was sucking those mangoes. What the fuck? Ignore him, it's the dementia speaking. Then I got peaches going into B tier. It's all right, but I don't think I'm going crazy for peaches. Pineapples, though, I will go crazy for pineapples, and I think my most controversial thing on this list shall come. I am putting pineapples in S tier. I'll eat that shit till my mouth starts bleeding. Nah, man, I cannot. I'd flip mangoes and pineapples on this list. I don't want my mouth to feel like Joe's after a Friday night. You wish you had my mouth. No, Joey, I really do not. All right, settle down, guys. Up next, I got pomegranate going into C tier. They're good as hell and in juice form are amazing, but in its base form, it's too annoying to eat. Base form? The fuck are we talking about? Anime transformations? Just say that it sucks eating unless it's juiced. Can't even lie, Barack. What you said was pretty stupid. Like borderline window liquor. All right, whatever, but we all agree at C since no one said anything, and up next I got strawberries as our final S tier. The most used fruit in any juice, good as hell to eat by itself, and is available everywhere. Why the hell is avocado on this list? Because it's technically a fruit, you idiot. Okay, but like, why do we have avocados on the list, but not guava, jackfruit, starfruit, dragon fruit, or any other good ass fruit? Shut up, Joe. Sorry. Avocados go into a solid A tier, and all those fruits you mentioned, Joey, I'd probably put them into S or A tier. Does that make you happy? I guess it does a little bit. But where does Rambutan go? Up your ass.